Hey, hi everyone. Um, this is Julie and this is my <clears throat> 32 week update. Um, today is Wednesday, so that means I am 32 weeks and two days pregnant today. <clears throat> and um, everything is going pretty well. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> let's see, I had my baby shower on Saturday and I definitely had a lot of fun there. Um, it was great. I had such a good time. Like, even though, like, these games are all silly and stuff, but, it, like, it was just, it was fun, you know? And, um, we had some family members come in from out of town, and I was really surprised at that. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, but it was definitely a very welcome surprise. Um, I got lots of great gifts, which I'm going to do a baby shower haul. Um, but, you know, most of the stuff is, like, already opened and, like, scattered all over the place, so, um, I don't think I'll be able to show, like, every single onesie I got and stuff, but, um, in general, you know, I'll show you a lot of stuff. Um, anyways, though, um, I think, um, maybe it might have started Saturday or Sunday or something. <clears throat> but, um, I feel like I'm starting to have some Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, it's, it's kind of weird, because I know they're not supposed to be painful, but, um, I don't know if this might be something else or whatever either, but, like, sometimes I get, like, this kind of sharp-ish kind of pain, um, down towards your vaginal area, and... So that kind of hurts. <laughs> I don't know if that's part of a contraction or something else, but I have noticed what I think are the Braxton Hicks contractions is just sometimes my stomach just feels really tight. Um, and like I can feel it and it feels really tight. Like there's not really room to like, you know, grab anything or whatever. It's just, it's hard as a rock sometimes. Um, which that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> I have been super tired again, um, you know, I was just asleep a little while ago, I was watching TV, and I just, like, was knocked out, and I'm like, oh, no, I don't know what happened, <laughs> you know, um, but, yeah, so that happens, um, <clears throat> As far as cravings go, I have definitely had a sweet tooth. I cannot lay off the candy. Like, I swear, I cannot get enough. <laughs> it is so good. Like, yesterday, I had a large Jamocha shake from Arby's. And normally, a small is, like, plenty. You know what I mean? Um, but I had a large one, and I was just loving it. I was just like, mm -mm -mm. you know, like, I love this. This is so good. Um, and it's not just sweets as in, like, candy. It's definitely sweets as in, like, sweet fruit, too. Um, like, pineapple is kind of sweet. Um, it's kind of tangy, too, I guess. But, um, definitely love that. Um, let's see. I had some grapes, but that's not, that's not all that sweet. Um, we have apples, again, still own apple thing. Um, I have a big bag on the counter. Um, and I've had a couple of bananas, but eh, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I've definitely been in the mood for pasta, which I haven't had a whole lot of lately, but, um, it just has been sounding really well, or really well, really, really good. Like, I've wanted some um, Alfredo, really bad, um, but I haven't had any, and now I'm thinking about it, like, hmm, do I have Alfredo sauce? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, though, yeah, so that's been sounding really good. Other than that, everything is great. Um, <clears throat> normally I would be having my doctor's appointment on Friday, but since it is, uh, spring break and stuff, my doctor is... Um, on vacation with her kids and stuff, so my appointment won't be until next Friday, which is, um, the 13th. So, anyway, 
yeah, so we are trucking right along. Um, you know, it was kind of funny the, at my baby shower. Um, I got a pack and play, which I already knew that because I checked on my registry, but it was up on this gift table and it was time for me to start like packing up my car and stuff. So, um, you know, I'm just clearing stuff off the table and basically just setting it by the door so I can like make some trips and whatever. And I go to pick up this pack and play and my sister flips and she's like, no, <laughs> you were just asking me what Braxton Hicks contractions feel like. You know, you're not picking this up. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. I was like, well, okay then. <laughs> um, yeah, I found that to be pretty funny. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, I got my eyebrows waxed today. If you can't tell, I don't know if you'll be able to see the pinkness. Um, it's the first time I've had them waxed in I don't even know how long. Um, so she waxed them and she also trimmed them too because uh, trimming your eyebrows definitely helps keep them looking more neat and stuff. Um, I think she did it, waxed them a little bit thinner than what I I had been used to, but that's okay. It's hair. It grows. <laughs> you know? Um, but one thing I don't like after you get your eyebrows waxed is kind of like how your skin tends to feel. Like you have little bits of wax still stuck on you and whatever. And I mean, it's almost 10 o'clock at night and I had it done at 4.30 this afternoon. <laughs> so I definitely still a little pink up here. She didn't wax a lot off the top. The top just seems to be more sensitive than the bottom. Because the bottom and the middle, when she waxed that, I couldn't feel a thing. It was like, no, 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 no. I didn't even skip a beat in my conversation. Um, with just the top, I'm like, ooh, ow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. And, oh, another thing that I've been struggling with this week is my skin. It's been dry and then breaking out and then I don't even know like I've tried to put some cover up on it but I have this gigantic pimple on my chin now first I had one over here but now I have a huge one right here and it's bad and like I have some littler ones popping up over here <coughs> and like right here and oh and I guess the last thing before I do my belly shot is my hair has been strange um like, I've had a couple of gray hairs that I've noticed, but, you know, I color my hair every once in a while. I don't do it, like, every six weeks, like some people or whatever, but, um, when I was doing my hair the other day, I saw some gray or white, like, right in here, and I thought I saw another one earlier, but I lost it. <laughs> but, um, and, um, as I mentioned in a video be before, I colored my hair a few weeks ago, like maybe three or four weeks ago now or something like that, and I don't, I don't even remember exactly, but, so I saw this white, and obviously the white would be new growth, so I pluck it out of my hair, and I look at it, and this white hair is like over an inch long, so my hair has grown like at least an inch, if not more, in three to four weeks, and I'm like, holy moly. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's pretty crazy. But anyway, I'm going to do my belly shot, um, and charge my camera battery because I think it's going to die because I don't know if I'll have enough space to also film my haul or not. But anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Whoops. All right. So. I always have to get situated. So this is a hand-me-down maternity top from my sister that I found the other day. I like it. It is green. But My stomach's pretty hard now, not as hard as it gets earlier, or sometimes, but... I don't know, I still feel like he is 
super duper low. Like I don't feel like I have that cup holder kind of stomach where you can just sit stuff here. I have kind of like a crumb catcher. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough of that with my chest. But I have kind of like a crumb catcher, not like a cup holder. So, I don't know. But I guess boys are supposed to be low, so I guess that's true for me. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing good, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.